Welcome back to Jokmok. This time I'm heading out with the snowmobile. It took come a lot of snow and now we continue with the longer tours. I had to make a trail out to the cabin and at the same time I bring some dog food and I bring some firewood to the cabin, of course. So, today it's behind the scene work. Snowmobile is started, gasoline is filled up, and the sled is loaded, and we go. So as you see, the snowmobile go quite deep and get covered up with snow. I'm lucky, as you see, I can see 
where the trail goes. And if you look here, I'm standing on the trail now. And if I'm stepping just outside, it goes down. And if I miss the trail with the snowmobile and the sled, I, it's okay, I can manage it. But it's easier that you get stuck in the deeper snow. So I'm so happy that I can find the trail. It's so silent, but because I have this. Actually, it's not silent. I listen to music today. There's some wind. And very low clouds. This lake called Pjellniar. As you see, I follow the land because then I always find the trail again. Like today, I know more or less where the trail is and then I can stay on it. There is also holes in the ice in some places here. I don't really know why, it's quite... Not nice holes actually. Not big ones maybe, but enough to get problem. I just had some problem with the snowmobile and so much drifting snow and there is a safety key here and sometimes it comes ice into that one so when you stop a snowmobile you push this down but you should directly put it up again because if you're out here and it freeze you don't want it to freeze in the, the stop position if we look at the snowmobile that's fun so the skis we use are a kind of soft snow skis that we have. It's a wide plastic thing that we attach to the normal ski. You can actually see that you make them several centimeters wider to each side that make the snowmobile floating more. I'm not a snowmobile expert, but we're driving a little bit snowmobile every year. The machine we use is Lynx. And they are good. Lynx and Skid are good. A lot of brands are good. And what kind of brand is a kind of religion here. But this is what we use. And we want a long one. A long... Um, matta. A long of this. Because then it's floating better. So that long one, in combination with wide skis, make the snowmobile floating better. This machine has a... 120 horsepower engine actually is, is a lot maybe a little bit too much so I had to continue because I want to reach the cabin before it's dark and then try to go home before it's dark and try to avoid problem Finally, we reached the cabin, and now some work to do. Yeah, you know the cabin. Take away the snow, 
unload the sled, take a cup of tea. I brought tea. Yeah, let's go. Just me. Bara jag. I'm kind of wet from sweat and the drifting snow that are coming in. But mostly because I'm super warm. Today I don't have coffee. Today I have red tea, red rooibos vanilla tea. I don't want to sit here too much. I had to go very soon. And it's always nice to just sit down, listen to nothing. But that's not an interesting video for you guys. It's a way of showing that you're not at home. Now I don't live here in this cabin, so I don't know if I should do it. But at home, if you're not at home, you can put the uh, soup like that. If you leave the door unlocked, then people know, ah, oh, you're not home, so they don't need to go into your house. <laughs> so crappy driver. I get stuck on a kind of not nice place to get stuck with a snowmobile. I actually hit a stone. I thought it was not. <sighs> but I see how we manage this.
Yes! But no one help you if you start crying. You just had to solve the problem. The ski went into that stone and it's uphill. So that make it a little bit difficult. But you just had to work. And I actually even get more warm because I had to carry around the camera so you can see what I'm doing. People who are driving snowmobile who are good with it, they probably laugh to me right now. But most of the people who drive snowmobile, they just stay on the trail. And then they're actually not driving snowmobile, so they shouldn't laugh. <laughs> now I put away this camera for a while. It's snowing and we're saying goodbye to the cabin, driving the trail back home and hopefully I reach the home without too big problem. Now we're back on the main trail. Yes. Now I can drive a little bit faster the last part back home. They put this sign. The Snowmobile Club. They put this sign. Crossing ice. Like crossing a lake. Crossing on your own risk. It's a little bit scary science but I've been there before and the ice is good but you should have respect for the trails even if it's a marked trail but here it's fine now. You see everything we get this drifting snow all over the place. The snow is totally filled up and you get ice on the light yeah, and the gloves are wet, not wet, but frosty. So I'm looking forward to coming home. From here it's 20 kilometers maybe back home. So I will continue. to the tent and I had to take away some snow from the tent oh I'm really looking forward to come home and having a kind of dinner or cup of coffee
Yeah, yeah, I know. I should get the shovel, but I do it with it. So now I'm back home and Oh my See my gloves totally icy wet look at my backpack camera bag Actually I had to fix one thing with my snowmobile because it was um, drifting snow so the gas I couldn't stop the gas See here between I must take away the ice here. So, uh, if it's snowy and ice here between, this will not close. So you should check that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like like it please subscribe give thumbs up and so on and thank you to all of your patreons i hope i see you again here now it's time for something to eat and coffee for me see you next time ciao